Monday, and we're live at 11.05. I'm BC, this is Spirit Cards, brought to you by who? Spiritcards.com. All right, check us out. We're the hot rod people, but except today, we're going to be brought to you by, I made notes here. I like my notes. I made notes. No. On a piece of wood? Spirittrailers.com. So we're brought to you today by Spirittrailers.com. It's like uh, 4th of July coming up next weekend, a big travel weekend. I know there was a big tea bucket event last weekend. A lot of people travel. A lot of people will drive on like a motorcycle cross country. Some folks will put in a trailer and, and travel it that way, but there's not a lot of space in a tea bucket. And there's sure not a lot of space to uh, take very much stuff with if you're driving. And it may have a bed on it, but this bed is pretty much full of a gas tank. And you don't get a whole lot. So at Spirit, we offer a, uh, a bed beyond the bed, beds and beyond trailer. What should we, should we name this trailer or something? Anyway, it's a trailer. The way it works is uh, you can open it up and it's just, it's all bed. Nothing in there, just you can haul your stuff around. And it actually comes a couple different ways. One, we just have the parts and pieces where uh, you assemble it all yourself, and the second way is uh, we have it wired and the lights in it, it's not painted, the decklet is hinged, and it's just ready to go. One is like uh, $4.99 and one is $7.99, I think. So, excellent addition. So, this top we're going to do the same way we got this one. It's going to be bonded on right here, so this will be permanent, and the hinges will be just like this one, so it'll lift up here. Same style hinges. I we'll have these hinges sitting right up in here. And actually, when this one's done, we'll probably do some more pinstriping on it down in here so it matches. It's a little different. We'll have Corey come back. We're focused on trying to get this one to go home. That, of course, is all fiberglass. There's a lot of fiberglass here. So, and the bed bolts onto a steel frame. Can you see up this in this frame? We put a lot of trailer hitches on on our tea buckets. I don't know if you can see. You definitely can't see down there, but if you get up under here, can you see this all the way up under here? How are you doing? You seeing that? Uh, yeah. Okay, so here's our receiver hitch. And the way we do our receiver hitch, I like it so the receiver goes up into it, and you can come out with a receiver that's got a ball on the back of it here to pull a regular trailer. Or you can just, uh, in this case, this is just slides up in there and the, the whole trailer itself is on the car. And what that does, that'll save you, uh, you can just take the license plate off of here and put it on the back of here. You don't have to have separate tags for a trailer. You don't have to, in Arkansas, I know if you've got a trailer, you got to declare it and they charge you tax on it, on your property tax. And so, this way. This will be bolted on here. I'm backwards. This will already be bolted on that frame. Now, it, it may take a couple people to slide it up in there, but it goes right up in there, put the pin in. It stays there. Very minimal play. I mean, you can see it's got, I'm putting quite a bit of weight on it, but you can see the amount of play in it is not, not very significant considering you know the, the play that you've got in that receiver. So the traveling weekend, if you want to travel, if you want to do, do you have a big weekend? You had a birthday party? You did. I had a, I actually took yesterday off. We had a big party coming up next weekend. Going to have lots of people. And we had, we entertained last night. Some people we, Chuck and Alice. So say hi to them if they're watching. They came by the house. We sold them a tea bucket and a 34 a couple of years ago. So they came by the house. They went down. Eight. Like the party weekend. Had a good time. So we're getting ready for next weekend. Gonna have a big party at the house. We got some car people coming in. They'll be traveling and trailering and maybe they'll have one of these on their car. This will fit on a spirit car. If you've got a spirit receiver hitch, um, it should go right up on there. If you don't have a spirit car or a spirit bed, you may need to modify it. You might want to uh, not get the fully assembled one, but just get the one that's uh, parts and pieces, but it's pretty pretty cool. Extends your car, 
extend your space. Trying to get it done. It's a Dr. I's car. We got two or three cars. We got three or four cars on the verge of being finished, so we're trying to get them done. Stay focused. And this is a trailer special, so this is my infomercial trailer special. Let's show this one here. We have two trailers, and if you, if you go to what did I say it was? Spirit, spirit trailers, right? Spirit trailers. Spirit, spirit trailers. Was it spirit trailers or was it spirit car trailers? Mm, spirit trailers. I lost my notebook. Where'd my note go? <clears throat> you mean your piece of wood with my writing? My piece of wood, yeah, it's gone. Unbelievable. Oh, here we go. We have prices here. So we have a Mullins trailer. Some of you may not be familiar with Mullins, but Mullins was a car from the, or a, uh, a company from the 30s. And back in the Depression, things were kind of tough. They built some boats and stuff, and they start making a, a trailer just to kind of fill the gaps and keep it going. And it's a really cool trailer. It's a Mullins trailer. It's got a kind of a 30s style since it was built in the 30s. So a lot of people have reproduced that, and we do that also. So we have a Mullins trailer. You can see that on Spirit Trailers. Dot com, and we get eighteen ninety five for that. It's uh, not painted, but it's all assembled and everything. We call this one the little donkey, <laughs> and we have a donkey. Now the donkey is actually quite a bit bigger, and you can pull this behind a motorcycle, or this is pretty nice to pull behind a, a tea bucket, or you can pull it behind a hot rod car. And the, the little donk, and then the, the big donk is bigger, and then we have also a uh, uh, we got something else. I didn't write it down. I don't know what it's called. But uh, you have to go to spirittrailers.com. Uh, is there enough suspense on that to make people want to go? It's kind of cool looking. It's like a bullet looking thing. You could put Spuds the dog in there and give him a little. It almost looks like a sidecar. But uh, anyway, I don't even know what we get for that. But since I took this down off of the rack, put on this little thing, and brought it over here to show you, we're gonna. I'm gonna give a deal. Um, so, and I think I got two or three of them besides this one, and I got maybe two or three of the big ones. So for the small one, that not, what you see is what you get here. We're not going to offer no um, suspension, no frame, no nothing with it. It opens from the side. You can see there's a lot of room in there. Quite a bit of room in there, and then the big, bigger one, the donkey, has a lot more room than this, and it's got a shelf in it also. So we're going to offer this one for 400, and then the donkey for 500, just the fiberglass, the top and the side that have the fenders and all that, for just the couple that we got left. If we got those, that's going to be a deal. So don't make me put this one back on the shelf, at least get one, so I can say our infomercial worked here. So what else we got? So those are $4.99 for parts and pieces, and these, those over there are $7.99 all finished and done. Maybe if Josh is watching this, he's got a, I think one time he did a little advertisement thing for it, maybe put on Facebook. So if you're watching Josh, hey, uh, go ahead and put that up there. Oh, and hi to Stephanie's grandpa. Because Stephanie said her grandpa watches all the time. What's his name? Um, her I'm name? not sure. I've only known him as Pops. Pops. Well, Pops, hey, how you doing, Pops? What else can we show? Dr. Ives cars coming together. Pretty cool. Here, why don't you go from that side and show me. We don't do this normally with a soft top, and this is a 20-inch windshield leaning way back, and it's got like a way back leaning look. So Eddie's putting the, the top on it, and as soon as we're done with that, finish the bed. This is about ready to go home. The interior is done. All we got to do is snap it in. So Eddie's doing that, and we're putting a windshield wiper in this. This is my bookstore over here. Why don't we just finish up with doing a wiper? Okay. Okay. Don't normally do it, but the headboard. This will be the headboard, and when you get a Spirit soft top, it comes with a headboard, and the headboard is already covered and then it comes all the way around and just snaps on. It's got the bows and everything, so it's a, it's really, it's a complete top. You just have to put it on. You don't have to do any upholstery work to it. But Dr. I wants a windshield wiper. So we're gonna go ahead and put a windshield wiper and we gotta grind it in, but you can see it's doable in the soft top. So take the hard board, you drill through, coming through. You can kind of see 
we've got a half round here. This is where it goes on top of the windshield. When it comes through here, these windshield wipers, it just, the wiper actually, the blade goes onto the, to the motor, and there's just a little stud here that tightens down and it crimps it together, so that's what makes it go. There's not a, it's not splines or anything on it. You just have to be careful when you put the motor in, it's deep enough, you can put your bolt on, or your nut on the back side of this to hold it in place. This will hold in with a screw so it don't twist around and doable. Looks like we were doing wood burning here. This is Eddie. Stephanie came out and said it smells like burnt popcorn. So it smells like burnt popcorn over here today if you happen to be around. But so there's today. We're just working. You got to come join us in the middle of trying to get some stuff done. We're doing that. Will this one out here. It's trailer day. Um, a lot of people don't know we offer trailers, but we do have Pretty good line of trailers. I didn't even know we offered trailers. Well, now you do. Now I do. I guess what you'll try to be marketing here in the next few days, maybe. Spirittrailers.com. Check it out. Awesome. I don't think I've been there, but it's probably awesome. <laughs> it's got to be cool. Somebody made it, and it's it's been there for a while, and we just haven't marketed it. So what are we going to do? Pass it on? Coffee break contemplation? Uh... Coffee break contemplation. Okay. We're just going to pass it on today. goes along with our wood burning here. <laughs> if you can smell what someone is saying, don't step in it. It's Hopefully you can't smell our wood burning or what I'm saying here today. Just giving you the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. So the facts are we do a trailer. That one's coming together. Um, got some other cars we want to show uh, we'll show Larry's car. I'm going to do a detail on that. We've got to do a detail on that this week. Do not let me forget. And uh, the Black Knight's going to be here tonight. Have you met the Black Knight? No. He will be here in person tonight. He's coming to be, he's going to stay at the house. So he'll be here. Larry will be here tomorrow. That's exciting. You may see Larry. Um, Rodney, I think I'll do a... If you're watching Rodney, I think we're going to do one of the... What do you call that when you talk on your phone with somebody live? FaceTime. We're going to do some FaceTime on his back window. And then we can get his back window settled out and get that done. And otherwise, we're going to see you tomorrow at 11.05. Have a good day.